Hey everyone, Joseph Gallegos here, Gray for Green. We're gonna talk about the do's of gray water. Cause we get a lot, ask a lot of questions about gray water. So this kind of is help just to answer some of those. Um, the first thing that we get is, can I continue using the same soaps and shampoos and conditioners in my shower as I do gray water? Yes, the answer is yes. You can change to a biodegradable versions, but we find that any types of soaps and, con and conditioners or shampoos are gonna be fine. It's gonna go out into the landscape and the microbes are gonna just eat up all that stuff. And some of them have phosphates, which is gonna make your landscape a little greener. Um, detergents, same thing with detergents. We find that most detergents have surfactants in them and the surfactants get into the fibers of your clothes and help pull that dirt away. Well, those same surfactants break off the water, break the water tension in the soil. So once it goes into the, into the soil, it's helping push the gray water out. And when you utilize the gray water, when you utilize our gray water system, the aquifer pipe, as that system is sit below the ground, it's gonna help the water within the aquifer pipe spread out into an eight foot wide section. And so that eight foot wide section is gonna run the length of the pipe. So if you have a pipe that's 30 feet long, you're gonna have an eight foot by 30 foot wide moisture zone that the plants are gonna feed from. And let's stay with that aquifer pipe idea. So most gray water requirements say it has to be subsurface under three inches of mulch. With the aquifer pipe, we put it 12 inches. And why 12 inches? Because at 12 inches, 12 inches, that center channel becomes nice and saturated and allows the soil to wick it up and spread it out. If you had only three inches, there's not enough um, material or, or soil to allow it to wick and spread out. So at 12 inches, it's deep, which allows it to spread that four feet on each side or eight foot wide section. So make sure you use, like, utilize the aquifer pipe when distributing your gray water in your landscape. Now, if you utilize the aquifer pipe, a do is make sure you filter the water before it gets out to the pipe. Filtering, it's a simple filter. We show you on our website how to do it, but it takes off the hair and the lint and allows just mainly the, the untreated gray water to flow out there. So it's still gonna be kind of murky and grayish color, but it's not gonna have all that lint with it. And you replace that filter about every three months. It's gonna cost you about a buck fifty, a dollar fifty, not a hundred fifty, a dollar fifty. Simple, easy going. Um, another do is utilize the gray water in any landscape, any plant material. We haven't found a plant material that is a problem with gray water. There's always this controversy that, oh, it's gonna kill my plants or will it kill my plants? We've had it in ferns, we've had it in azaleas, we've had it in sago palms, Bermuda grass, uh, St. Augustine grass, marathon grass, drought tolerance, natives, plants, California natives. So it just, it has a wide selection of any type of plant material. It works great with any type of plant material and the plants are gonna love it because you're gonna constantly get fed every time you take a shower or do the laundry it's gonna be feeding the plants. So use any, that's a do, use any plants on your gray water system. Another do is enjoy your landscape. It's always gonna be watery. Now you can just sit back and watch it just get nice lush and green. You know, it doesn't have to be that, that brown spot out in your front anymore. It can just be nice and green and lush and, and grow some vegetables. Can't grow, this is a don't. This is I'm so most of this video is about do's, but you cannot grow garlics or radishes or anything else that are in the ground with the gray water system. It has to be above the ground and above the surface. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We're willing to help out. Um, our whole concept is to have a DIY gray water system that anybody can install and enjoy their landscape.
Have a good day. Click on the description below to find out where to buy the products. We also have links to instructions to how to build a great water system. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We would also love to hear your questions and also share how you prevent climate change. Put those in the comment section as well.